When I was 12, I found out that my mom got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which is basically a six month death sentence. My relationship with my mom was not the healthiest. And when I found out that she had pancreatic cancer, I felt like I have to fix this. I have to mend this relationship. I have to make everything right in six months. And when she died, it was like time's up for me. I remember crying and asking God to bring her back and he didn't. So that just made me not believe in him, made me not want to be around God, made me not want to go to church. It made me angry at God. And so I just went in this dark, dark hole of addiction. That's how I describe it. I started using prescription pills and I got addicted to cocaine and just trying to forget and trying to numb myself as much as I could. Um, I couldn't deal with the fact that I felt like I let her down and just just spent that year and just trying to escape as much as I could. So I got suspended from school for coming to school on drugs. And after I was suspended, my dad put me in an outpatient rehab program to help me recover. The rehab was kind of helping, but I was really planning on going right back to it afterwards because I was still friends with the same people. My freshman year of high school, I was still on drugs. I was still smoking weed, but I met this guy he actually invited me to church sometimes to hang out. So I just thought maybe if I start going to church, it might help. Really it was, if Jesus can't help me, nobody can. So I attended the custom summer camp on a whim and just honestly trying to check it out and just see what this whole Jesus thing was about. And the first night of summer camp, John Holm was talking about labels that students put on themselves. And he said, you're not a thug, you're not stupid, you're not worthless, you're not dirty. And honestly, I felt like all those things. And he said, Christ gives you a new name. And it was just such an empowering moment that like the God of the universe thinks that I'm an overcomer because I had been constantly told at this point in my life that I was never gonna be anything, that I was gonna be a burnout, that I was gonna be a high school dropout. I knew that like I needed to surrender to God and I needed to let go of the mistakes that I had made and know that those things cannot stop me from coming back to God. So I went into the back of the room and I just got on my knees and just started like, bawling my eyes out, like, God, I'm so sorry. Please, please, I can't do this alone. I need you so bad. In that moment, it was like, God didn't seem to care about what I had done. And it was like, he was like welcoming me back. Now I know, like, I, I can always come back no matter what mistake I make. So I got baptized and after I got baptized, I felt so free and I, and I did feel clean. I felt like this is the truth. I know that God has called me out of where I was and I'm just really excited for what that means and how God's gonna use that vision that he's given me next year at SEU and just wherever he takes me.